Good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name is Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes. I forgot to put my comments on. I knew I'd forget to do something. We, <laughs> we had a little minor technical hitch uh, with Facebook deciding to log me in as somebody completely different. But anyway, I'm here now. I've managed to get everything working. Um, so tonight I'm going to be doing a fun food cake. So um, we'll see how that turns out. I have it all in my mind as usual. I've not made this before, so let's see how this turns out, but hopefully it should be okay. I'm not alone. I don't have Kelly with me this evening, but I do have Morella. Now you've had Morella before. Say hello, Morella. Good evening, everyone. So Morella is here on comments this evening. So if you would like to ask anything, then do please put that in the comments and we'd be more than happy to help you. Good evening. I can see somebody just appearing then, so Aww. that's good. <laughs> I feel like I'm not on my own then, all on my own. So it's very busy at the moment doing wedding cakes, so it's um, a lot of rushing around, but we're here. I've managed to get here. So just remember at the moment during August, I'm only doing Tuesday evenings at the moment because um, I'm very busy. And I was saying to Morella earlier, I feel like I'm wearing buttercream and ganache and sugar paste. <laughs> I go like that, my arms are sticky. <laughs> It's you just, don't, you it's, don't look here. it's <laughs> where have I been? I'm here, I'm here. Um, it's always technical stuff with me, you know what I'm like. So I am here now and I'm going to do a cake. Um, we're not going to, we are going to do a little bit of cookies, but we, I'm definitely going to do a cake tonight. So um, let's have a look at the cake and see what we've got. So this is the cake that we've got tonight. Let's take this down because we know who I am. And we have got, let me get my tape measure right okay so this is a six inch cake that way and this is six inch that way so it's a six by six this evening that's quite a tall cake i look lovely who said that lindsay see she... that's what i said lovely <laughs> i said i'm holding myself together here <laughs> this is like wedding fatigue is now setting in you see so uh... <laughs> I'm um, yeah holding myself together it's fine it's because it's wedding season and not only is it wedding season it's a double wedding season so we're super busy at the moment and I'm churning out wedding cakes like crazy doing demonstrations and shopping and all sorts of things so busy busy times but that's fine so I'm glad you're here there you go Morella's just commented for those of you worried about how you um, how you spell her name it's not a top it's a dress so I turn around <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear tops. I have to cover I have to cover everything, you see. So I like my dresses rather than my tops. You look gorgeous. <laughs> right, okay. So we will get going. Um, what are we doing? That's a very good question. Let's start. We're well, we going to do the cake first, all the cookies. What should I decide? <laughs> I wrote a list of what I was going to do, but I mean, honestly, I look at this list and it goes straight out the window whenever I start anything. So let's have a little look. I think we'll do the cookies first, actually. So we're gonna make some, we've made the cookies in advance. So we're going to decorate these little mini cookies. Um, we're going to make little lollies and we're going to make uh, cupcakes. And then we're going to put them on the cake. So there's gonna be some bits and pieces uh, going on. Let's go and have a look. How many layers in the cake, Tracy? Four. Four layers. Four layers, so you've gotta bake two cakes. And when you bake two cakes, can stack them on top of each other and then all I've done is cover them in white chocolate ganache there you see so that's all I've done that's made it rock hard well near enough rock hard um, Carol sells a bridges I don't know what's it called ganaching kit or something so that's really good if you want to get all the straight edges and that the reason I ganache my cakes in advance for these lives is because um, it's never going to set in time for what I need it to do. So that's why I don't do a lot of ganaching live. I have done it, um, but I don't, I'm not doing it um, tonight. So this one is already ganached up, done earlier today. So we're going to have a look at the cookies now. I need to press the wrong button then, there we go. Right, so we're going to cover these first. So this is part of my lollipop set. There we go. So we've got mini lollipops here. So we've got the mini ones in tonight. Now, if anyone wants to know how big these are, let me tell you, because they are teeny tiny things. So this one is, let's do it in centimetres, shall we? Seven centimetres, so it's a little one. But we also do them in a set of three. So that's them there. You'll find those in cookie cutters. I'm, <laughs> I'm helping it. Morella here. I'm on it. I'm <laughs> She's on looking it. at me going, oh! oh. <laughs> like a rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we may need some backup here, everybody. Um, <laughs> my online PA's on, you're okay, don't oh, worry. Nick is on, Nikki. right. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is a set of um, three lollipop cookie cutters. So we're gonna be using the smallest one, which we've done there already. 
And then this is the smallest cupcake one. I couldn't find the other two, but this is also a set of three. And these are little tiny cupcakes as well. And again, they're similar size. I kind of built everything around same sort of size. So what's this one? This is a five centimeter. So they're a little bit bigger than the lolly, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. We can do that. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to decorate these first and then we can leave these to dry and then we're going to crack on with the cake and then we're going to go back to, um, so we're going to do these, let that dry and then we can go back and do the cake and finish it all off. Someone's asked me a message about cake mixes, haven't they? How much mixture? I don't know, our sweet success. <laughs> I'm a naughty girl. <laughs> Um, I don't well it's it's the equivalent of just making two six inch round cakes that you put in a layer so a double you know what I mean two layers with a bit of jam in the middle isn't it that kind of thing but two of them so four layers so whatever you make with a six inch round tin there we go yeah Nick is in for backup you're all right Marilla don't yeah. worry <laughs> she's panicking so. I, took, I found them I found them everybody's gonna be so impressed <laughs> Right, let me grab my royal icing. So we're going to use a bit of royal icing to stick, to decorate these to start with. Now, just take this out on my knee. I don't want to use too much actually because I need loads for later. So I'll pop that over there. Oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to talk about the ice cream cake. I'll do that shortly. I'll do that later. I've got a new class. So I'm going to show you what that is later on. We'll get this bit done first and then we'll have a look at the class. So I am just going to, i put too much water in, of course I have, um, take some royal icing. So royal icing you can make with a product called Merry White or you can make it with a product, uh, Carol's product, whipping it up. Just need to add, well if you use the whole bag you just need to add 70 grams of water, use half a bag, you use 35 and so on and so on. So we're just going to make something that's a bit sort of like glue really, just to do our cookies, well one part of the cookies anyway. And what we'll do now I've got all of these here I've got kind of a backup ones as well so we probably won't use them all but we're gonna get going with those anyway so let's put those out of the way oh look someone's given you a um, can you paint triple four modeling paste mine's white yes yeah yes with cocoa butter yes the answer to that is yes um, I thought I was gonna sneeze then but I'm all right oh. it's hay fever <laughs> Okay, right, uh, we're wondering what I'm doing tonight, it's all hidden and it's going to be fun, fun, fun. This is a fun food cake, this one. So I've got some blue French oars. I'm actually gonna put a bit of white in it because it's a little bit too, too blue. I want it a bit less blue than that. That's a bit of need, or I'm trying not to sneeze. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm not, I'm not no. It's not going to be a good look. <laughs> no, it's not a good look. <laughs> so we're looking for some pastel-y colours tonight. That's what we're going to be working with. So it's sort of a pastel colour cake. So we've got some of this sugar paste here. Oh, good. Joey's been baking cookies. So that's what I would like to know is, are they, well, are they my cookie cutters? <laughs> And then we're going to have a bit of pink as well, but again, this is Renshaw Baby Pink, but it's too strong. So we're going to take some white again and just tone it, or lighten it up, not tone it down, lighten it up. Just a bit of white in there. There we go. We'll give that a knead as well, and that'll get that going. Okay, we need one more colour actually, I forgot about that one, we'll do that one now. So I'm using a combination of flour, um, sugar paste tonight. This is um, this is Renshaw. That's Renshaw. This is Renshaw with Satinara, and then I've got some Massa over there. So I've got all sorts going on, but it doesn't matter. I'm always saying it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So um, yeah, anything, anything is fine. Right, let's use. Ah, oh, I've got a bit of brown in there. I couldn't have timed that better, could I? Was that chocolate? No, that's chocolate. Okay, we're going to make the. Do the lollipop sticks in white actually or should we do them in a very pale ice creamy colour let's do that right so I'm going to take some of this autumn leaf colour so we've had this before so this makes really nice sort of teddy bear colours and um, ice cream cones in particular Mr Whippies obviously um, <laughs> so you don't need very much just going to put in literally about that and I'm going to give it a knead I've got to pick a bit off, off the table there because I tell you what 
one tiny little bit of that and it spreads everywhere. So let me move that out of the way. Go on, you threw it then. It definitely would spread everywhere then. <laughs> oh, I nearly threw it on the floor. <laughs> oh, get a grip. Right, here we go. So I'm going to give that a knead. I don't even know if I've put enough in it now. Oh, I'm losing the plot now. All right. I've got my air conditioning on, so I should be able to think straight, but I've iced a lot of cakes today. I think this is the problem. Oh, we've got some Rev's well, recipe, recipe advice. Yeah. Oh, hanging baskets, brilliant. I'm looking forward to seeing those, Joe. Make sure you post a picture so I can have a look. Tag me in it. If anyone's got my ice cream cutter, I'm all turning it into all sorts of different things. So we've had hanging baskets and we've had balloons lollies no not lollies ice creams mr whippy obviously i love the swimsuit ones the swimsuit They're ones good. are fun <laughs> right okay so we've got those now let's think about this let's just roll out the blue to start with because actually i'm going to do some blue things on the cupcake cases as well i'm going to move those just across oh no someone's dropped a whole pot of magenta i tell you dusting floor. color on the floor is bad news it is bad news oh. Right, okay. Lindsay has asked, do you enjoy making, what do you enjoy making the most? All right. Wedding cakes <laughs> or cookies? <laughs> do you know what? I'm so sad, I enjoy all of it. Do There's you? only oh. one thing that I'm not keen on. I don't have to do it so much anymore. And I when I email Ma you. Not you <laughs> emailing me, no. It's Marzi Panning fruit cakes. Oh. oh my God. I just hate doing that. I don't have to do it very much anymore. But for no. me, Marzi Panning fruit cakes is like, oh no. I don't know what it it's is. A very old, it's a fruit it? cake and Marzi Pan is a very old, it's very old, well, as in it's an old tradition, isn't it? Yeah, but I think psychologically, for me, it's like a double covering. I've got to do the work yeah, twice. Yeah, true. Yeah, because oh, you have God. the marzipan, yeah. then ice. And the, the other answer to that question is, which ones do I like best? Some um, <laughs> some wedding cakes are nicer than other ones. There's another good answer for you. You never know, do you? Right, let's start with some of the lollies. So just, you get your oh, you get, oh, yeah, we're going to talk about bridezillas. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. <laughs> depends who the bride is. That's the answer to that one, Lindsay. <laughs> it certainly does. <laughs> so it, help, it helps when you have a nice bride. Yeah, when you've got a nice yeah. bride, you're all right. Okay, so we're going to press that down and give it a little wiggle. Like so, take that out. And then I'm just going to chop that bit off the bottom there. Like so, turn that round. I'm just going to pop that onto the lolly. It's all going to make sense later. I'm sure you're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing. So am I. <laughs> I'm winging it. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, I'm winging it, everybody. We are making a cake tonight. This isn't just cookies tonight. I've done cookies for the last couple of weeks. We did wedding cake cookies. Some people have done some lovely ones now. Oh no, what did I drop my paint pa palette? Oh no, that's not good, is it? No, that's not good at all. Yeah, you do. I've pinged a few paint palettes. I'm okay as long as they don't go on any of my cakes I'm doing at the time. I'll tell you, that's when you really. Oh. No. <laughs> I dropped a cup of tea yesterday. Does that count? Where? Where? On the on the, no, on the floor, uh, the rug. No, well, no, not on the. When I was at, at home icing cakes. Oh. Yeah, I chucked it everywhere. Uh oh. I had a few things to say. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Ah, the swear, little swear, mini swear. Right. Okay. So we're going to have to do about six, I reckon, of each of these. So we're going to do three light blue ones. We'll put those there. And then we'll do another light blue one. That one's got a lump in it. But I have to tell Kelly off because Kelly baked these, of course. Kelly is working at the moment, so she's back in her bubble tea shop. So that's why Kelly's not here tonight. We've got Morella instead. Okay, so we've done three of those like that. Now, while I've still got the blue out, I'm actually going to do um, the lower half of the cupcakes uh, cases. Let's do that next. There's one lady who does demos on here, Morella, and she's so tidy, and I feel like I'm the most <laughs> tidiest person ever. I look up at the camera and I go, oh my God, uh, where's that mess? It's, 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 it's organised. It's, it's organised. It's not. It's it not is. Organized. 
I've got to move things around, try and look a bit more professional here. There we go. <laughs> that looks better, doesn't it? It doesn't look quite so chaotic. Right, so we're going to do the lower half of these cookies. So I'm just going to take a little bit of icing. So it's going to be like the case of this um, biscuit. So we're just going to put a little bit on like that. I know people are going to ask about biscuits and say, are they going to go soggy and all this stuff and how far can you do them in advance? Well, if you've got, a, say you've got a celebration on a Saturday, you could start your cookies on the Monday, you'll be fine. Just look after them. You won't have a problem with them. And they won't go soft unless you're piling on tons and tons of icing and um, making them really wet and then they might. Okay, so let's turn that round. So all I'm going to do is just cut, let's make sure I get this right, cut straight across there. So that's going to be my case. So these are quite small. You can see they're quite fiddly. Okay, let's pick that up. Turn that round. So I never use a palette knife ever to lift anything onto a cake. That is fluke, everybody. But this is asked for the um, the cookie it's recipe. On the, it's on the. It's um, we've got a recipe card that we sell. Yeah. That's on the on, website. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm on it. I'm She's on it. on it. Okay. It's a laminated recipe card for the cookies um, it's called it's Kelly's cookie recipe and that's what we use now I'm going to just take this and I'm just going to press that down okay so I'm going to get a fluted kind of cupcake base can you see that okay like that so all I've just done is used the um, use the base like that let's turn that round so if you've got any questions, keep ask because I'm going to be fiddling with these for a minute or two. So if you've got anything you want to know. Did you say you use the autumn leaf colour for the... Yeah. That's on the website, yeah. isn't it? I've seen that. Maureen, I've had your message on my phone. I will sort you out, don't worry. <laughs> She'll know what I mean, no one else will. <laughs> I haven't got round to it yet today. I've been in panic mode all day, icing cakes, so... I sometimes just don't listen to my my phone because I've got to get these things done for these weddings, you see. Right, so we're going to do three bases there that are going to be in blue. Right, go across there. So we're basically prepping our toppers first. That's what we're doing. Okay. I'm covered in ice and sugar. You won't tell me what, what the cake's going to be. You're going to just want to surprise me. a surprise me. cake. Oh, Maureen's been in. See, Maureen lives in Northern Ireland. So I need to have a look at where she's just said she went. Where did she go? Port Ferry. I'll have to have a look at that. I'm going to Northern Ireland in September. So there we go. Right, so we've got three of those. Now we're going to get rid of that and we're going to do some pink opposites. It's all going to make sense later on. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> and then we're going to come back and do those lolly sticks as well. Well, I thought I saw someone from Australia earlier. Yeah, there probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go back. Um... There we go. All right. So we're rolling this out. Penny. Sorry. Yeah. Penny's hi from Australia. Yeah. We are in, they're international here. Love that. <laughs> they get up really, really early in the morning. Is it early in the morning for Australia? Yeah, it would be, it wouldn't be, it? Mustn't it? It must be like three o'clock in the morning. It can't be like a night. Um, I'm a bit of a night owl sometimes, and an early and an early bird. I'm not even blitz. I don't think I sleep. I think that's the problem. <laughs> How have you got? Go? I've got time to sleep. Right, I'm going to do some pastel pink ones here now. All this cupcake cases so we'll cut how many we're gonna do three well I've got a backup one actually just in case anything went wrong so we'll do four just in case anything went wrong <laughs> you never know. I'm trying to remain organized you see there we go let's put that there and then we'll cut that across there I could have done these in advance but if I'd have done that, I think the live would have been over in about 15 minutes flat, so I think I I thought I'd better do these while I'm on here. Plus, to be perfectly honest, I, I've not had time today, so it would have been... Wow. I would have brushed Penny, it's 3.30. Yeah, that's what I thought. In Australia. Yeah. Penny, go to, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
See, I'm honoured that she I know, tunes she's in. I know. She's here every week, I think. Oh, I love that. What's this? I've bought what a pack of Sprinkalicious Cocoa Butter Drops. I have no idea. I don't know what they are, so I can't answer that question. Can, you, can I use these for painting? I'm not sure because I don't know what they are. If it's cocoa butter, melt it and have a go and see what it does. Right. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I can only answer what I know. All oh, South Africa. Wow. <laughs> Would you put Liza or that Lisa? Is that pronounced? Always, oh, always watching Tracy from, from South, South Africa. Africa. There you go. I've not oh, been wow. there. What time is it in South Africa? Yeah, what time? We want to know. We want to know what time it is. I think they're similar time, aren't they? To us. Are they not? I couldn't tell you. But Charlotte went to Namibia, which is then out of South Africa. Yeah, she went on one of those really? funny... What did she go on? Oh, it was one of those <laughs> um, gap year -y type oh. things. I'm sure it was quite similar in time. We'll find out in a minute. She can tell us. Yeah. You need to tell us what time it is. There we go. Oh, wow. Another one there. And two more. Goes on there. So what we do with these, these will then dry while we're de dealing with the cake. Because what I didn't want to do is end up in a situation where um, I've done these at the end. Because these need to dry off a little bit before we move them. Okay. A little assortment going on here. Oh, I broke that one. I knew I was going to break one. Whatever you do, everybody, don't bend it there. I'm going to pass oh. that to Morella. There you go. You're well, can I eat you it? You can eat that, yeah. Wow. See, Kelly gets paid in chocolate because they'll all start in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank uh, you. And then they'll say, it, yeah. Um, mm, what time is lovely. it? Oh, it's 8 o'clock in, oh, in okay. South Africa. Yeah, no, it's quite oh, so similar. It's only an hour ahead. Hour? What are we? Oh, yeah, we're, we're seven. seven now. I know. Oh, they're delicious. Thank you. Mmm. They'll all start saying I pay Kelly in chocolate in a minute. That'll start up. Mm. I'm paying Morella in cookies, you mm. see. I'm going to come back. <laughs> right. Okay. Nearly there. Right, so we have four. I was going to do five. Where's that other one gone? No, one, two. Yeah, I've done it. Right, okay. Now, I can't break any of these. Oh, no, I've got spares here. What am I on about? Yeah, if you're going to make this one, do make some spares because you, you might knock the bottom off like I just did. Right, let's do these pink as well. So we've got three of each. <laughs> Tanya's jealous. Who is? Tanya. <laughs> that is delicious. I could have a little eating mm. gallery outside a live, couldn't oh, I? Wow. I mean, there's not enough room to get people in here on a live, but they could, could certainly have cup, could have sit have outside and have a coffee. <laughs> could have had a cup of tea with that. Mm, mm, mm. Right, let's move those over there for a second. I need to be careful now. Did you say that was Kelly's Yes, recipe. Kelly's cooking Yeah, recipe. really nice. Lovely. I know, but the problem is, is that I then get Kelly to um, make loads and then I start nibbling, you see, do so you? I've got to not yeah. do that anymore, it's naughty. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I get tired and go to suck as I'm sort of sleep slump. My read's put, it's so dark, <laughs> child minor off duty tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kelly's Kelly's working. She's in her bubble tea shop. We've all talked about the bubble tea shop. <laughs> I said I was going to do a bubble tea cake um, so you could see what it is that she does. So I'm going to do that. But I've got, to be honest with you, I've got to work out how to do it. Um, but I'm planning to do one. So we can do a bubble tea novelty cake. Something. Kathleen's watching from Ireland. Oh, north or south? Co Clare. County Clare. County Clare. I don't, is that south? No, I don't know. No idea. Is that south? It's south? I don't know. It's rubbish. I've been to, I know Northern Ireland, I know Antrim and I know all those places, but I don't know where that one is. You'll have to tell us. Right. Ireland is lovely. Have you been to Ireland? Never. Oh no, you need to go. Never. It's so nice. So nice. Every time we go, and this is like a sad fact here, every time we go, I go, um, I go to the causeway and I think, what am I doing? I've been here so many times. <laughs> You go there every time. Well, I'm not expecting to see different Aww. this time, but you know, it's like you've got to go, haven't you? You've got to go into the causeway. What is a, what is bubble tea? That's a very asked. good question. <laughs> what is bubble tea? Bubble tea, um, well, it's, it's uh, well, according to Kelly, anyway, I might have got this wrong, so don't tell me off if I've got it wrong. It's something to do with, it's tea based, so it's like a green tea base and something else and then they mix in like syrups and yeah, stuff with, so yeah. like a mango syrup or and then mm. in the bottom of it it's got things like tapioca and um, well now apparently it's, it's a, nice well, well i've had one or two 
Um, oh. They're okay. They're very sugary. They're very sweet. I've never so tried them. I'll get Kelly to bring you one back. She gets one every day. So um, yeah, they're. Sylvie's all... watching from the Shetland Islands. Oh, do you know what? I always want to go there when it, we get all the heat in the mm. south. You know, you see on the map Lerwick. Are you near <laughs> Lerwick? Because it's a standing joke in our house. Whenever it gets really hot, I go, I need to move to Lerwick. Lerwick. <laughs> every time. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you always see it on the news, don't you? Yes. Lerwick. Yeah, and it's I a go, good point, oh, actually. Please take me up there. It's always cooler up there. Is that what you mean? It's always yeah, cooler. Yeah, it's there. always much colder up there. I need oh, to move. Oh. You know, whenever whenever it's really hot, the hottest part of the country is where where we live. I tell you, it's unbearable sometimes. So County Clare is in Southern Ireland. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Yeah. I don't. Nikki is trying to get everybody to eat more cookies now by baking double, a double batch. batch. That's yes. just fatal. Right. I need to meet Nikki. Really <laughs> make a house on fire. I'm going to just put a little. Um, I was going to call that a stalk, but it's not. It's a lollipop stick, stick isn't it? No, it's stick, a lollipop stick. stick. stick yeah. I know, I was going to call it a stalk. I don't know what I was on. Anyway, <laughs> we're just going to take the end of this, cut this little bit out. 15, Sylvia's just 15 miles from Lerwick. Who is? Sylvia. Is she? So if you fancy a cooler All right, temperature. All right, lovely. Uh, next time it's hot, can I move in? I've just got a spare bedroom. <laughs> I do. I always see it come up on the news and go, God, I need to move there. I really do. It's just it. grim. Even with any air conditioning or anything else, hot tubs, you name it. Oh, dear. Right, I'm being... I'm going to make a nice little on screen, yeah, just about. Okay, so we're just going to put the little little lollipop bases on. I got abandoned that first one because I didn't press down hard enough and scratch it on the work surface. There you go. Sorry, you... you um, I was too busy watching you. Did right. you say when when you make the cookie? How long do they last? How about long? A week. About a week. Yeah. Wow. A week. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Good. It's good. You can make them well in advance. Then. Well, let's put it another way. If you're making cookies for a, a wedding and you're going to flood them with royal icing and all this stuff, you've got to make them in that far yeah, advance because they won't dry. Yeah. So you've got to. I've done a few wedding cookies recently. They seem to be well. It's everything. I feel like everybody's throwing everything. Mm. Do you think that? Mm. Yeah. Everybody yeah, yeah, wants yeah. everything, and they yeah. don't mind because it's they've not been out for a no. while. No. <laughs> right. Okay. Now we do the blue ones, and then those bits. Oh, that's the sugar paste bit done. You can flood these with royal icing if you want to. I'm just doing them with sugar paste tonight because I can and it's a bit easier. Uh, you don't have to wait as long. If you're doing them with um, royal icing, you've obviously got to wait lots of time in between. It makes the demonstration much more tricky. So we'll just do it with sugar paste tonight. There we go. Donna's got some from the royal icing course. Yeah, maybe yeah. don't eat those, Donna. They're not gonna do you any good. <laughs> <laughs> a minute on your lips. <laughs> Yeah, and but a lifetime on your hips. I think she might end up in hospital. They've been around a while. Oh, is it? How yeah. long was it? When was the Royal Icing course? February. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, dear. Oh. Okay, well, I'm reading Sylvia now. We've not had warm sun since this one. I've seen everyone down south struggling with cakes. Cakes. Oh, oh. I just want us to go on. Whilst it's been 14 degrees. Yeah. I think we need to move. I like that. That's my ideal temperature. I know it's not for everybody, because loads of people say things like, you know, um, oh, I love the sun. Mm. I'm not saying I don't love the sun, but believe you me, if you work in cake or work in the amount of mm, cake I yeah. have to do, it's stressful. It's all right when you're on holiday. Yeah, but then, even then, if you're on holiday, I've got to be near. You'd need to be near a pool. Near a pool. That's you, right. Have a little that. dip. Yeah. Cocktail. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we do the cocktail yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can flood the cookies. Oh, Nikki's on that, so I've read that. Yeah, flood them with the whipping it up. That works really well. Right, so we've got this now. Let's move these back in here so we've covered them all. There we go. Right, now we're going to pipe the cupcakes. Let's move those over there. I'm going to get the royal icing out, which I've made in advance. So as I said to you before, you can make it with whipping it up. You can... Um, now, look at the huge nozzle here, we've got 42, so my, this is a PME 42, this is probably, I could probably sell this for about £500 at the moment because there are no PME nozzles really? in the country still, no, <laughs> so yeah, honestly, it's, it's ridiculous, so we're going to do nozzle 42, we'll they say it, a star one. They said it was going to happen though, didn't it, with Brexit? Yeah, well, something's going yeah. on, isn't it? 
Andrea has asked, I bought the wedding cake and cup moulds. Would fondant or the royal icing be better? Either. Either's fine. I do, if I was selling them, I would probably do royal icing. Um, but royal icing comes at a premium because it's more time consuming. Fondant's much quicker. Um, it's up to mm. you. It's mm. totally up to you. It doesn't matter. Whatever you think. Elma says hello from Houston, Texas. Ooh. Oh my God, that's so exciting. <laughs> I've not been there. What time is it, Elma? Yeah, we need to know from what time Houston, it is. Houston, Texas. Because then we know whether or not that you are, um, you're meant to be asleep. <laughs> yeah. Tracy, do you sell the smallest lolly cutter by itself? No, we don't. No, we sell the them set. in sets of three. Okay. At the moment. We keep changing things around. We might do it at some point, but at the moment, no, it's in a set of three. Right, I'm just going to move this out of the way. So, I have got this coming up here. There we go. And I'm just going to see if this nozzle is what I want. Or maybe I won't have a bigger one, actually. No, it's not. I'm going to go for a slightly bigger one. I'm going to get better ones with the 18. We'll go 18. Wilton 18. They all know what Wilton 18 is. Because I've used this one on Royal Icing before. So, Wilton 18. Oh, 10 past one. In, ten past one in the morning. No, no, no. Oh, in the, <laughs> no, in the afternoon, afternoon in Texas. It's ten wow. past. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. So she might be having a lunch. Yeah. And watching sugar and yeah. crumbs. That's good. Right. I'm going to hold this up, and I'm not because I'm not going to be able to do it if I hold it. I'm going to just turn it. Hopefully, my hand won't be in the way. So all I'm going to do is just do some little swells like this. I'm hoping these are going to be a little bit drier by the time I put the cake together but I doubt it so I'm gonna to have to be careful now as I go along um, what do I want what do I want I'm gonna put some sprinkles on these what should I put on um, what have we got in there okay. yeah they're not they're gonna clash hideously oh, I think what we're okay. gonna do we'll do these ones these are glimmer strands Laura or Laura as it's, it could be pronounced California it's 11 10 a.m. 11 10 a.m yeah, that's yeah. okay yeah it's good that's a that's a Just normal brunch, time brunch time yeah that's a normal time as i'm going to pipe these i'm going to put the sprinkles on as i go because if i don't then what's going to happen is when i go back they'll have dried out and then they'll they won't stick so we'll do it as we go along a bit like buttercream really when you pipe buttercream aren't they dinky so cute okay let's stick those on there like that one. Would a 16, yeah. Nozzle 16 is very similar to an 18, it's just a bit smaller. Lots of the nozzles, like 42, 43, 44, they're all the same thing, but they're just of different size. So, yeah, any of those would be fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, I started off with a star nozzle, but the minute I kind of approached the cake, I could work out that it's going to be too small. Or oh, it's not going to be too small, it's just going to take a lot of time um, for me to do this. I'm not going to quite get the same effect that I want. Okay, let's go around here. I haven't even done the leaping about bit yet, have I? Normally that's the bit I do first. Love that. They're cute, aren't they? Cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> need to get out more. Nobody heard that. <laughs> right. We've got one backup one here, so you might get that one more. Yes. Well, actually, to be honest, there's more over there somewhere. They're everywhere in here. It's like Cookie Central in here at the moment. I have to catch Kelly before she goes out to work and get her to make things, you see. I keep asking her to make, I don't know, don't mention the word Christmas. Ah. Mention Christmas and that's it. Yeah. She's making them. What have we got here? Someone's got a thunderstorm going on. <gasps> I thought we were going to get thunder today, did you? Oh, yeah. Because it's got quite, it's so muggy. Do you not think? It's awful. I'm so glad you've got that one as well. Yeah, well, I hope it's not upset my sheets, actually. Just Is it all right? No, they're fine. No. That's what I'm worried about, but they'll be fine. Okay. One more one then. We're nearly there. Aren't they cute? Do we like them? <laughs> Love them. <laughs> Love them. So, little tiny pastel. Okay, that's the last one of those. Now the other ones, this is when they're going to start thinking I've gone mad. Actually, I was going to do it on that one, let me just check. No, 
I was going to do it on the top, that's fine. Right, let's close that off, put that over there. Now we're going to swap these round because I need those to dry. Oh, they've got a thunderstorm in Runcorn. Sure. Can you send it down here, please? Although my cat doesn't like my cat. No, no, my cat goes ballistic every time there's a thunderstorm. Is it me or have like loads of houses been struck by lightning lately? It's probably you. <laughs> news I, I, I don't know I, there seems to be more and more houses being struck by lightning maybe it's because there's more houses do you think so think yeah, be, be. yeah. they built too to many a, yeah there seems to be a they've built lots of houses now so there's, lots, there's more there. houses getting in the way Christ, yeah. <laughs> right there we go a fun facts with Tracy and Morella yeah that's all right, right. <laughs> thunderstorm and houses thunderstorms and houses right okay what do I do with that pen that I had earlier uh, oh look, here it is in my incredibly organised. Love that. Yeah, I know, but it's just not going to last, is it? Of course I've, it is. I've got, I've got one of these. Um, what do you call that? Tool caddy. It's uh, well, it looks, like a, it looks like a pen pot. Pen pot tool caddy. I'm going to bring it in. It's half empty it's at very the moment. Good. So you can have a good laugh at my tool caddy. There we go. It's a sort of rough attempt for me to find things like print stick and Love that. and scissors and things that I normally go. I can't find that anyway. My pen was in there, so we're now going to. I'm going to move these out of my way because I don't want to get them in the way. Okay, so we're not putting sprinkles on these yet. We are going to, but not just yet. And we're just going to put. Let me just double check what I'm doing. Yeah. We're just going to put some little faces we're not going to make them very complicated with this pen now because the sugar paste is quite soft i'm not going to press too hard otherwise we're going to have um, some holes so we're literally just going to take that pen so this is just an edible black pen that's on your website as well isn't it somewhere yeah <laughs> don't ask me where because i don't know we're going to give this thing a little smile now kelly will tell you this is called Kawaii, which I always get told off for saying it wrong. Kawaii. Okay, so that's that one. We'll leave that one there. There's a big gap up there, but that will make more sense later. So let's do the next one. Well, it will make more sense in a minute when I've done it. In again, some sort of hope that it will dry. So they're quite simple faces. They're not particularly difficult to do. Oh, they're all talking about the rain, aren't they? Mm. Lots of rain. We had a uh, really rain today, I don't Yes, know. this when? afternoon. Did we? Well, we did. I, we did. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm a million miles away, but it was awful. I didn't notice any. I was in a white flash of speed icing cakes. <laughs> been living under a rock. <laughs> I'm living under a rock currently, yeah. everybody. Yeah, I've occasionally come up for air. <laughs> I think I came out of the my um cake room when the ice cream van oh, appeared yeah, and bet. that was it and then i went back in there again and stayed in there so i'm not pressing very hard with this because otherwise i'm going to go straight into the sugar paste so i'm holding my wrist as well um, if you make a mistake you can take the sugar paste off and do it again so it's there's no pressure with this particularly i think it's slightly more pressure sometimes if they're royalized I'll make a smiley one. There we go. Two to go with the smiley faces. Well, I'm going to push so those cute. out of the way. Bring those in. And what we're doing here, we'll put that one there. I'm going to say what I normally say about my lives. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Because sometimes when I do lives and they don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I start panicking and thinking, uh oh, this should be fine as long as the sheets behave themselves, it should be fine. Right. You are an elegant swan. Who is? You is. Who says that? You. I am an You are an oh. elegant swan. <laughs> I thought you said someone would put that no, up there. <laughs> it's just my comment to you. Oh, is that an elegant swan? You're like an elegant yeah. swan. I'm a bit funny with swans, though, aren't you? <laughs> they're a bit, they're a bit, they're a bit. I know, we're never. <laughs> Whenever I go near those, um, go for a walk on those canals, yeah. yeah, I have to run the opposite direction. I'm not very keen on the swans. I'm sure they're out to get me. Right, there we go. Okay, so we've got that bit done at the moment. Now, we're going to carry on decorating the lollies. I'm just going to move those over there so I can get to the right side of it. We'll get some more royal icing. 
Are you getting cold with that no. aircon? Are you sure? My, my bottom has gone. Okay, <laughs> you've gone to sleep. <laughs> my bottom's gone to sleep. <laughs> right, let's grab. And I've got a bird's eye view of you as well. Oh, okay, that's fine. So, we're going to take some more royal icing. We won't need very much. In fact, I'm trying desperately hard not to use too much because that's all I've got here at the moment. We'll have to make some if need And then we're going to take some colour splash pink. And we're going to make this into a bit of a drip. So we'll pop that in there. I don't want it to be. Uh, don't I want it strong? Oh, well, I do now. <laughs> don't want it strong. Oh, I have oh, it now. Sure, sure. <laughs> so by default choice, so that I now have a, a quite a strong pink dip, and that's okay. So we're going to make this a little bit more runny than it is at the moment. So we're going to add a little bit more water to it. Well, that's helpful, isn't it? I didn't really have any choice in that colour. That's fine. We're allowed to do pink because Kelly's not here, you see. Ah. We're not allowed to do pink when Kelly's here. Oh, really? Well, she tells me off because I do pink all the time. I know. But I like pink. I like blue more, but I'm defaulting to pink, you see. So, this is um, royal icing. Well, I'd say actually it's had a little bit of water in there. We're going to put a little bit more in, maybe a teaspoon or so. Let's see how we go going to make this a bit runny, runnier, so it can sort of drip a bit. How are we doing on the drip front? No, not really. So it'll be enough for what I need for the cookies, so we'll take it, yeah, that's okay, we don't want to make it too runny, otherwise it's going to be pouring, because these are not going to have time to set really. This is the dodgy bit everybody because this is the bit where if I was doing it at home I'd probably let them set for ages but I'm not going to have time so I'm going to do it now and hope they set a bit that's sort of quite well I'm willing them to set really how runny is this am I going to be able to cope with this okay I think they'll run should we do them in situ I'm trying to work this out I'm going to put a tiny bit more royal icing in there to make that a little bit thicker. Just use what I had in that bag there. Keep this bit purely because I want them to try and set them. I don't know whether they will. We can try. Okay, that'll do. Now let's take hold of my scissors from my tool caddy. <laughs> Can't find that. anything else, obviously, so there's normally a huge amount of rummaging going. I'm going to put my pen back in my wow. tool caddy. I know, this level of organisation, it will not last. <laughs> but it'll last for about a week. It's good. And then my next question would be, where's the tool caddy? <laughs> I've, I've lost misplaced the tool caddy. it somewhere, yeah. It's You're telling organized. Kelly on me, yeah, you can tell Kelly, that's fine. Now, where's the other adapter I have? Is there an adapter on the sink? It's the sun. No small version of that? No? No. No? Okay. That's fine. Oh no. Uh, did I put the no. Oh, hold on. I'm going to say. Oh. No, it's not that one. It's the no. screw part that's on the top. No, don't worry. I'll use it from the other one. Here? No, it's the other bit. That's the, in that's the inside bit. It's the outside bit. Here? That's the bit on the... No. <laughs> Well, Morella, she needs some cake lessons. It's this bit. Oh! That bit. Is it on there? No. No, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I'll use this one. Oh, no. Just remind me. <gasps> she found it. Yeah. Now oh, she's found it. I've got to teach Morella some cake decorating, you see. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Who says have I got my Pritt stick in there? Do you want to see? Look. <laughs> you love as well. Look. Pritt stick. So organised. These key items, everybody. You see, there's still gaps at the minute. Finishing sparkle, which is something else I use a lot of. Scissors. I can never find scissors on a live, <laughs> and nor can I ever find my Dresden tool or paintbrush when I'm doing sort of very specific things. So I think so far, it's like I would describe this as sort of an emergency tool caddy, because you know, I'm all, these are the things I can never find. Although I don't need Pritt stick today, typically. But anyway, never mind. Um, what do we got here? So this is PME 3, or PME 2, it doesn't really matter, anything's fine. Right, so let's try and remain organised, Tracy. Let's put stuff over there. And we'll put some of this drip in here. 
going to not put too much down because I haven't mixed it very well to be perfectly honest. Probably going to run straight out the end. Right, let me just move my bag a second. In the ideal world, these would have set overnight, okay? Not some sort of insane kind of move that I'm about to try with these whilst they're still wet, but never mind. Okay, we'll put a little bit in there for now. We'll leave that for a second. And then we'll push that down to the end there. And you'll see it up here, there it is. Where's my thingy gone? My sprinkles, if I put them over there. Yeah, cool. Right, back to these again. So we're going to just do a little, oh it's coming out faster than I can already deal with it, a little tiny sort of drip coming over the ice cream. I didn't look to see if I was on camera then, so there we go. Just something like that. Yeah, there aren't any paint, my paintbrushes, Nikki, <laughs> are in another pot. separate container. They've got their own pot. Yeah. Although they have actually now ended up with a load more stuff in them, so yeah, it's all gone a bit wrong at the moment. <laughs> I know. So we're going to just put some. See, what I'd really like to do is these to then dry overnight. God, they look like wigs a little bit, you know, like it's got a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. No, they that's don't. Fine. I'm only winding you up. No, they look good. Right, okay. We've got to kind of hope these are going to dry a little bit. They might not. Longer but... drip? No, I'm not no. doing too longer drips. I'll no. tell you why. Why? Well, because it might not dry, and then uh -huh. when we go to put these on the cake, they're going to be falling about all over the place. Uh -huh. So we're going to try really hard for them I to see. set. That's the plan, you see. Otherwise, yeah, you could do great big long drips on yeah. it if you want to. Anyway. Cute. Cute! I'll put some sprinkles on as you go. Right, two more, and then these can all sit and dry. Get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not yet. <laughs> not yet? Not yet. No. Right, okay. A few more. Okay, last one. I don't know if I need all these. I mean, I've sort of worked out I need at least six. You're incredible. Where'd you, where'd you get your ideas from? I don't sleep, I've told you that. Just your brain, <laughs> your brain must be constantly active. I'm up at five and, in, and sleeping at 11. I keep waking up with my iPad going. I'm flat out like, yeah. <laughs> I think, oh. And then I go back and watch. And there we go. Right, so that's those all Love done. Them. Cute, aren't they? Yeah, very so cute. So what we're going to do is we're going to put those out of the way and leave those to dry. Because amazingly enough, we are actually doing a cake tonight. I could tonight. look after them. I bet you could, so I'm going to put them behind me. Okay. <laughs> right, so let's get rid of these now. Oh, okay, I'm going to stand up. I'm still here. For those of you that haven't seen me, good evening. <laughs> I did start these very quickly, you see, so I wanted them to dry, so I'm going to put those over there. Right, fingers crossed they dry off a bit. They probably won't, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. We'll get round it. Okay, now we're going to start icing this cake. Let's go on to here so you can see. Might help if I press the button. Um, this is the cake that we're doing, which is a six by six, six inches by six inches, which is the equivalent of um, two big cakes, basically. Right, we'll sit back down here again. So, what I'm going to do is take hold of some water. So, I've pre ganached this cake. I'm hoping it's stuck to the board a bit now as so we came in and stuck it down earlier. Now this is actually an acrylic board, okay, but you can get masonite white boards that you can use. Um, you can get acrylic boards if you want to, but they're quite expensive. Um, so I always try and keep track of them because I love them, but um, they can get quite pricey. Or you can just ice a white cake board, doesn't really matter, but for tonight's extravaganza. <laughs> got the extravaganza tonight's extravaganza I, I know we've got the the um, acrylic one in so all I'm doing is just painting the ganache with some water there we go and then we're going to cover this cake with a pattern and some sugar paste I'm putting water everywhere I'm gonna have to clean it up in a minute so I'm sort of flooding everything now that's fine. You can do this with Trex if you want to. Other cake decorators do it different ways. It's up to you. It really doesn't matter. All you want to do is make sure you've done it. 
otherwise if you haven't done it when you come to put your sugar paste on it's got nothing to stick to because this is dry you see so if there's no it's not wet there's nothing for it to stick to okay it's not perfect but it's fine that's all we need and then I'm just going to paint the top because actually I'm going to do the top first I think am I yes yeah we'll do the top first it doesn't actually matter because you're not really going to see that much of it the sides and the top and oh I don't know we're making it up <laughs> right let's have a clear I should say mop up the amount of water I've thrown everywhere okay let's have a little clear up and then we'll just run this round here there we go pink everywhere now right I'm going to put that pink over there for the moment I might need that in a minute just concerned. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is put a damp tea cloth over that. Stop it drying out. Stick that over there. So I'm going to come back to that, hopefully, if it works. Um, 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 have I got a six inch paint board? Let's have a look. What have I got? Well, we've got every conceivable size, but six inches. No, um, my luck. I've got, definitely got a five. That's too small. Okay. We can work around it. It's fine. Um, 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 sugar paste. Let's do some sugar paste, shall we? So I have got, I've actually got Massa in tonight, so I'm being very posh. So this is quite an expensive sugar paste. It's the most expensive sugar paste. However, it's completely brilliant. I'm going to use it tonight because I want it to hold its shape. And of all the sugar paste, it does do that. It holds its shape really, really well. So that's why I'm using it. Let's go onto this camera. There we go. And then I'm just going to put some icing sugar down on my plastic tablecloth. Now, Massa can be quite tricky to knead. It's so warm at the moment, the sugar paste is actually behaving really well. You can just knead it with no problem at all. You'll probably find my camera's taking you on a journey here because <laughs> it's attached to my table. So <laughs> it might be going a bit wobbly, but that's okay. Those boards are quite reasonably priced, aren't they, on your. What, the Masonite? Website? Yeah. They are. They're not these ones though. They're slightly different. They're in that box ah. over there. But they're all right actually. No, they're, they're, good, good they're new. Those masonite yeah. ones. They're all right. They hey. look nice as well, don't they? They do look nice. And if you're lucky, you can. Oh, I've got pink in there. Where's that come from? I don't want that. Let's get rid of that. Let's do that again. There's some rogue pink floating around somewhere. Right. I might tip my cake upside down in a minute and do something I don't normally do purely because I've got a six inch board. Actually, what is that? No, that's a five. <laughs> I thought I'd struck gold then. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's fine. No, that's a seven. I know I'm quite sad. I can look at boards and know what size they are. Oh. I know. Well, I need to get out more. Well, look. For you. Yeah, mass is a nice sugar paste. It is quite pricey, but if you're doing something complicated, this is a little bit complicated, then it's better to have this. Okay, no, there's none over there. I think I cleared them all out. I actually did some clearing out. Where's my acupuncture needles? Donna bought me some acupuncture needles that I use when I can find them. Here we go. But I have to say, she did say to me, keep track of them. Oh my goodness me. You have to keep track of these because they disappear everywhere. Right, where's my smedger? There it is. The beloved smedger. Just go for it. Come on, Donna, you get on here and just go for it for me. <laughs> right, what have I got stuck on there? Right, so we'll just give that a bit of a smooth. do. I'm going to take this cake. Am I going to regret this? I might well do. Let me see if I've got a bigger board. Hold on. Yeah, let's do it that way. Because actually it doesn't matter particularly. Uh, let me think about how to do this. Hold on. There's a thought process going on here. If anyone can hear my brain ticking. <laughs> right, I've just come out. I'll be back on the screen in a second. So I've just flipped my cake 
So all you're going to see is that. So I'm going to take you onto the side camera because you won't be able to see anything otherwise. So I've just turned the cake upside down on a board. And then what I can do, if I can find a knife, Well, okay, so I need to add knives yeah. into my tool caddy. No, not that one. Is there a sharp one there? Oh, no, I'll tell you what, I'll use the plastic side scraper. That's, yeah. that's much easier. You can find that as well. I'm having a nightmare tonight. Oh, here we go. Knife's easier. Okay, we're going to use the world's biggest knife. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can find. <laughs> oh dearie me. Right, so I've turned it upside down. So that's actually the top of the cake at the moment. I'm just going to take my knife and I'm just going to run that round there, like so. Have I got there yet? There we have. And then we'll just remove that, like so. There we go. Do you believe in mixing two sugar paste together? <laughs> yeah, too right I do. Okay, now I'm going to take this, I'm going to flip it over. Now it's going to be that way around. There we go. Da, 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 da. I love that. I oh, know, that's instant. That is How about that, everybody? I Look, love that. Perfection. Wow. <laughs> right, so that's it. That's the top covered. God, I couldn't have done that any better if I tried. That was good. I'm happy with that. Right, let's hope the sides are as successful now. Let's get that sorted. Right, I'm going to move those out of the way. Just down there for a second. Go on back onto this camera. Now, we're going to use a um, cake topper to do this. So we're going to actually create a cake that's got a really nice design going around it. And the minute I show you it, you're going to go, oh, now I know what she's doing. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out some more of this massa. See, it's beautiful stuff, isn't it? And actually it tastes okay. It's a nice tasting sugar paste this one as well. I'm going to use, this is a kilo of massa here, so I'm going to use it all. I might as well. Right, there. Thank you. right magic. I know, magic. So I'll give that a knead. I'm going to stand up actually to knead this because otherwise I need to get my weight behind it. Those two together. So we're going to create um, Obviously the sides now, we're going to do that separately. So we're going to roll out a sheet. Now we might try and do it in one, but I think it's more likely that it will be done in two. We'll see how we go. You never know. Hmm. But it doesn't have to join perfectly, it just has to join. This is why I need the aircon on because I'm, building, I'm getting hot now, everybody. Yeah. It's a workout going on. It's a workout here. Okay, all right, let's roll that. So, this doesn't have to be thick. I think we need to make that clear. So, actually, I do need to stand up still because I need to see what I'm doing. I'm just going to start rolling this until we get to the height of the cake. Well, I'm going to turn it actually because it's getting thicker on the outside edges. So the height of the cake, remember, was six inches. What have we got at the moment? There you go, so that's six there. That's six in the middle. So then we can start pushing it up like so. As long as we keep six inches all the way, it should be fine. So we're gonna create a wrap to go around this cake. Put some more icing sugar down. Jenny's asked where your pink board is. <laughs> I'd be off the pink board if I was using the pink board tonight. Completely. So no, <laughs> no pink board tonight. Uh, don't tell Carol. <laughs> She's probably watching. <laughs> I've gone off the camera a little bit. I am here. It's just it's gone the opposite way at the moment. Because what I'm trying to do is get the length on this. Now, when I go back to this, back to my cake, let's bring that back in again. We have got, let's see what we've got. I think it's 48. Wayne 
Chambers Moor is on right, so 4.35 in the morning. Oh my goodness. Is he, not, is he in Australia? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> Nikki's put, can you not sleep, Wayne? Why haven't you gone to bed yet? <laughs> right, 48 centimetres is the circumference of this. So that's obviously the length I need of my sugar paste, if you can see roughly on that side, which I have got. I'm going back onto this camera. I'm going to get rid of that circle because we don't need that. Let's get rid of that. So I can look clutter free and organised. So I've got the length. So I'm a little bit on off the table here, but that's okay. I'm going to try and do this in one. Whether this is a good idea. Wow. Do you mean, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're freaking me out now. No, no it's in, fine. No, I don't, normally you do yeah. new. We probably won't do it in one. Right, six inches, which is that way, 15 centimetres. So that's roughly there. And this is the other reason I've not used my pink board because I can't cut on it. I know. And then up to there. Okay. So let's take that out. I'm still here, I'm just off the other side of the room. <laughs> okay. Right, let's move this back a bit. Don't need anything like the amount I've rolled out, but that's okay. Got a sprinkle in there, let's get rid of that. I'm not cutting this exactly because this will make a bit more sense in a minute. Right, okay. So the next thing we're going to do is bring it in flatten it out, make sure it's flat, so you want any lumps and bumps in it, how thick is it of course there, so it gets thicker as it goes down that side, so we'll squish it down a bit, it's only when you look sideways mm. you can see it, the thickness, but you will be able to see it, but we're going to cover it anyway, so it doesn't yeah. really matter to be perfectly honest, you don't need to cut it by eye, um, you don't need to be exact on this either. Okay, right. Um, now, what we're going to use, we're going to use these. Now, some people have seen these before. Some people will not have seen these before. So, on our website, we sell cake toppers. And one of the cake toppers we sell is called Fun Food. Okay, so this is part of Fun Food. You can see there's a bit of a join down the middle there, but that's okay. And you can now see why I've made some of the things that I've made this evening, um, little cupcakes and things. And we're going to wrap this round the cake. Now, I prefer always to put my sheets onto sugar paste and then wrap them that way, because if you try and do them any other way, I'll just find it's too difficult. So what I might do is do it in two sections. I've already measured it, so I know exactly that this all fits. So the sugar sheets themselves are A4 size. Okay, so they look like, I'm gonna get one out. At the moment, if anybody is using sugar sheets, cake, uh, cake toppers, and you're finding that they're getting stuck to the backing sheet, because they're on backing sheets, you need to put them in your freezer literally for about 15 minutes, uh, or less than that 15 minutes, and then you'll find they'll easily peel away. So I've got an emergency one here if anything went wrong tonight, um, because I've already cut these ones that I need. So that's the size of the sheet, and I've taken a sort of strip off the bottom to get round this cake, so you can see what I've done there. So you need two sheets to get round this. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Morella's found it, so she's going to pop it on the site so you can see. So what we're going to do, I've got to be careful with this because it is very soft. That's why I'm nervous about doing this a little bit. I'm just going to make this a tiny bit wider. That's why I've picked Massa tonight as well because I want a paste that's going to work reliably. Now I could stick it straight to the ganache, but the problem with the ganache is it's then all going to, it's not going to potentially keep its colour. I would like my sheet to keep its colour, so that's why I'm doing this. So they don't pattern match, just bear that in mind, okay? So they're not all matching up together. I'm going to get this the same width. Let's get it down a bit further. So 
you can either do it in one or you can do it in sections it doesn't really matter but one sheet won't get round the whole cake or certainly won't get round a six inch cake which is what I've got so you need two sheets to do it come on Tracy get get a grip girl I want to try and get this done in I'll do it in two and then we can see it's right Tobias every time I roll out I'm going up the side of the, the um, table <laughs> that's what's happening <laughs> move that down there so what I'm saying is this doesn't have to be that thick okay just has to be wide enough which every time I move it it changes <laughs> stop it <laughs> oh right there might be me moaning in a minute let me move this down here a little bit move that down because that bit there is driving me crazy I'm cutting it off now it's had its moment and it can go to the back of the pile <laughs> okay there we go lift this up it's like doing lasagna sheets. I know, exactly. I've got, got, I have got pasta. You know, pasta. We've, we've, we've got pasta rollers in Cape World. No, really? I'm not joking. Wow. That we use for like making sugar paste the right thickness. Okay, come on, everybody. Please let this be the right size this time. That's better. Okay, I think for my own sanity, we're going to do one bit at a time. So let's put this, where do we want this? About sort of something like that. Okay, so then what we would do is remove this part here. So we're just gonna take this down because I don't wanna make that wet, there's no point. And then we'll take this bit down here as well. So when everyone was saying anything about measuring, you know, you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, and then we're going to, let me just turn it around a little bit take that off now this is the bit you've got to be careful with because it's water based or well, it's water so water plus edible print equals no edible print because it just pulls it off all right so be careful with this I'm just going to pull that out a bit just to make sure I've got it you called that you called that sheet a fun food it's sheet fun didn't food you? yes wow well, when I click on the link it comes up with daisy sheet for some reason is it oh, yeah. no. oh have why. you clicked on the right link I don't know Nikki not. help her <laughs> Help. <laughs> right. Help. We're going to get some water while Morella has a meltdown in the corner. <laughs> and then if she's still having a meltdown, I'll throw it over the top of her. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. You're welcome. See, I've moved that now and it's stretched. So let's just pull that down a bit. Right. There we go. This is getting to one of those sessions where it's a don't do as I do session you know and you say to someone do it like this no don't do it like I've just said <laughs> right now we're going to take the water and we're just going to paint this onto the sugar paste but we're not going to make it tacky we're not going to make it wet all right so even though you can see quite a bit of water going down I'm spreading that water out so that it becomes just tacky okay so I've only put my brush in three times on this whole sheet but you do have to remember to get it all covered because if you don't it peels off and then you've got another problem on your hands you don't want to do that okay so I'm looking at this sideways to see if I can see it on the light a little bit in the middle okay there we go right And then all I'm going to do, she says, got the air conditioning blowing at the background, is take my sheet and I'm going to lay that down, except I've gone off the sheet a little bit, but what I'm going to do to help myself, so I can just push the sugar paste up, I've done it, oh, I've done it right off the sheet, okay, doesn't matter, turn it over. Oh, I see. I'm just going to push that up. Yeah. There we go. Clever. Problem solved. Turn it back again. There we go. There you go. No problem. <laughs> wow. Doesn't even distort the. That's fine. No, now we've got yeah. this in place, it's not going to move around quite as much as it was doing earlier. So we're going to cut that down. Oh, 
oh, I'm going to be exhausted by the end of this and I need to lie down I think. Every so often I do these lies to myself but I think why did I do that? Okay, now I turn that round. Now it's pulling a bit there and the reason it's pulling is it's not stuck down so just take your, as long as your hands are dry, just make sure your hands are dry when you do this and then take your knife. I'm going to do this in two sections I've decided, not one because I think it will be easier. Turn that round like that and then cut that down like so. Okay there we go, lovely happy with that. Right, cake time. I'm just going to move this over the over here so I, I look more organised. <laughs> just quick, don't look at that camera. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> quick move it so no one sees it. Right, is this still tacky? Just about. I'll put a little bit more water on just to double check. So make sure we've got plenty of water on. It's dried out a little bit while we've been doing things. So I'm just going to make sure there's no water at the bottom there because if there is, here you go. Donna's picked up on my catchphrases. Here you go. Never mind. It will be fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. Right. Okay. So we're going to take this because it's lovely quality. Whoa, don't look at that everybody. <laughs> Sugar paste. We're going to take that and we're going to pop that around my cake. Now I want to make sure it joins at the top. It doesn't necessarily matter if it doesn't join right at the bottom. You kind of get the idea. Mm. Now before I kind of settle this down too much, I'm going to quickly do the other one. My on camera still, there you go. So this one's called Fun Food. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for the moment and we're going to take hold of some more sugar paste and we're just going to do the last section. I think we need to adjust that transfer sheet because it's coming off this daisy sheet for some reason. I know, it'll be me. I guarantee yeah. it. It will be me. <laughs> <laughs> right, then we're going to do the same again. Look better this time. Not me mucking about. This, 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 magic? Is you, that the word you were looking yeah, for? Yeah, magic. It's yeah. just incredible. <laughs> I'd, I'd cut that right up if that was me. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> rub it. Right. Okay. So we're in effect, we're covering a cake with sugar paste, but we're doing it in sections, panelled sections. Mm. So this last section is actually a bit smaller than the one we've just done. I'm just going to smooth it out. See how smooth it comes down that side. Yes, it is an icing sheet. It's one that I have on my website and it's called Fun Food. hope it's fun and it joins. If it doesn't join, <laughs> it's going at the back. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it probably won't actually. Do you know what? I've realised I should have made it a little bit longer. It's okay. I'm okay with that. If I end up in a pile of on the floor, <laughs> oh, it's going to be fine everybody. Right, that's still quite tacky so I need to be careful with that. So, water again. I don't think this is going to join up beautifully, and I'll tell you why. Because the sugar paste is on here, and I've got to add that bit in, so potentially there's going to be a, a gap. But we're going to make the most of our gap. We're going to put something lovely in it, I think. There we go. Right. So, we'll pop that. I 
side again. I'm just going to flip it. There's always a back to a cake. There's always a back to a cake. Absolutely. Right, flip it back again. There we go. Right, let's cut this. <coughs> Was that a cough of anticipation? <laughs> So you can see a bit of a join, unfortunately this is not a repeat pattern, but it doesn't matter. The overall effect, you won't look for it, I, well you might, but... It's like a dress, isn't it? It's like a dress, Yeah. is it? You never forget. Sometimes <laughs> you've been wearing dress, dresses like this. The, 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 the back of the dress doesn't match, does it? <laughs> no, I'm only winding you up. Yeah, I know, you're right. I'm just going to pull... wear a dress like that. You'd, yeah, I yeah, probably would, or a skirt of yeah, some description. no trouble. We could pull that off. Got some aprons coming that look like this. You can model those. Oh yeah. We do a modelling evening. <laughs> Christ. Right. That's for, that's for a different show. Apron modelling evening. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Right. Okay. So we don't think this is going to match. In fact, I'm sort of gearing myself up for this to be out by a few centimetres. But hey ho, that is what live cake decorating is all about. It's that bad. I'm going to put another one on. Right. Okay. Well, let's join one up definitely. And then the other one, I'm out, aren't I? Damn it. About an inch. I'm an inch out, that doesn't matter, because the moral of this story is everybody is <laughs> make sure you measure it and include the thickness of the sugar paste. But do you know what I'm going to try and do? I've got another little bit here that I'm going to... Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to push that up. Let's get this settled in first before we start doing anything technically challenging. Or, I know what we could do actually. Just take that bit out there. Anyway, that's what it's meant to look like from the front, everybody. <laughs> it will look like that from the front. You just won't see that bit at the back. I'm just going to put a nice plain bit of sugar paste in there. I'm not going to make a fuss about this. I'm going to just literally get my multi ribbon cutter and I'm just going to cut a strip out oh that might be wide enough actually let's have a look yeah white or pink um white I think yeah. well yeah because I'm just going to end up it's going to be at the back just, no one's going to see it is that going to be Okay, put a strip of lollies down there, yeah. But then that just draws attention to it. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn that round on the side then. I'm just literally going to put, I need to wind that a little bit wider at the end. So if I go on the thicker bit here, I can just take my rolling pin and squash it a little bit. See, this is what happens when it's... Oh, look, that's not bad, is it? That's fine. Okay, so we're just going to use this bit at the back here just to do the join. But you, if you're clever like I wasn't and you measured it properly, <laughs> it'll be fine. There we go. That's fine. That's the back. We're not going to look at the back. There you go. How's that? Lovely. It's good. Right. Okay. So the cake is going okay so far. So far, so good. I just want to cut that bit out because it's annoying me. better so just remember at this point any water that comes into contact with this is going to take this pattern off it's as simple as that okay so you need to be careful you don't put any water on here of any description right let me move this masser out of the way because I want to keep this because it's expensive and I need to use it tomorrow so I'm going to pop that into my bag do I make cakes the same day I dress them um, sometimes just depends on how quick I've got to keep going depends how many orders are coming through so I don't tend to hang around thinking about it right let's move that over there right look how organized I am oh, are you impressed I love it I know I've got a lovely clean work surface everybody <laughs> 
tell everyone it's a lollipop stick. Yep, perfect. So that's that's exactly what it is. And to be honest, it doesn't matter because it's at the back, so I'm really not too worried about it. That's absolutely fine. Now, the next plan was to do a try and attempt a royal icing drip. Now, the way I say the word attempt, don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> she looked and frowned at me then. <laughs> the way I say attempt is because I've only ever done it once. It was fine. So we're going to try oh, wow. and we're going to see how it goes and if it goes well then that's going to be all right isn't it i'm going to do it in pink because kelly's not here we're going to use the pink that we've already been using let's put that camera on so here we go so we're going to put some in there actually we're going to stick with the strong pink because actually it's quite nice isn't it on the side in the end um, so we'll stick a bit more water in there a little bit with that teaspoon I guess and some pink colour splash Let's pop that in it's not exploded this time <laughs> I think this yeah we, were, we weren't sure what shade of pink we were going to do and then we were kind of given no choice because it exploded so well, let's go for whatever this comes out as to get something that's going to run as a bit of a drip but we don't want it running too fast now at the moment it's not running at all so we need to put a little bit more water in and we're going to do a little test in a bag and see how that goes do you test it in the side of the bowl yeah we'll do a little test or we're not going to just go straight to the cake because that's just like the worst thing you can possibly do because then you've messed your cake up haven't you what but what I don't want it to do is run too oh. fast. What flavour is the Royal Icing, Tracy? Uh, Velvet Vanilla is the one I use. Oh yeah, I need to put a thing up actually. But there's lots of different flavours. Right, let's see what that's doing now. You see that's running okay. It's still running a little bit thick. Just take your time with this. You don't have to do this at 100 miles an hour to get it, just try and get it right. I'm saying all this, it's probably going to go wrong. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's going to be fine. There. Okay. Let's try that. Let's see what that does. Okay. So I've got the bag that I had earlier. I'm just going to kind of tip this icing in. I'm going to put it all in for the moment. I'm going to just squeeze out what was already in the bag and then we'll kind of see what we're getting. We're getting chunky drips again. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. I think that nozzle's too thick. What is that, a three? Yeah, we don't want that. Let's go for one that's a bit thinner. It's too thin, isn't it? If I mention the word nozzle number one, they'll all go mad. Because <laughs> we're going to use this one, I've got it. This is, oh no, that's better actually. Is that the yeah, that's better. Let's use that one. That's PME2. Is it PME2? Wilton 2. Okay. Okay. Well, I want this to flow a little bit, so I'm just testing it on the side here to see what we're getting in oil icing. So let's have a little look. So let's get a bowl. You can actually see what's going on. Sometimes if you tip a bowl upside oh, down, yeah. you can do a test run. So you can squeeze. See what I mean? You probably can't see it on the side there, but if you do a little test run on a bowl, you get an idea what your drip's gonna be like. So if you don't like it, then you can change the consistency or do something else with it to make it work how you want it to work. So that's what it's doing at the moment, which is a fair drip, I think, that's okay. Quite happy with that, it's not running too drastically what I don't want it to do which what I'm being careful with with royal icing is let it run really quickly because royal icing can run very very quickly but I think that's settling okay isn't it, it doesn't seem to be running yeah. too far so let's use the rest of what's in the bag it's running me trying to get it in the bag but that's a different matter so we'll leave that for the moment let's go on to the other camera let's just move that there right okay so 
let's bring this forward so you can see. So we're going to do a little bit of a pink drip going around this cake. Let's start on the bit at the back that we don't like. And all we're going to do is just hold the bag like so. And we're going to turn it so you can see it. We're going to start with some air coming out then. Just running. To be honest, I don't want it to be the world's biggest drip. I just want there to be a little bit of a drip going on. Okay, can you see it? There you go. So this is royal icing. So if you want to do a drip in royal icing, this is the way to do it. If you want it to run a bit further, just hold the bag in one place until the drip runs down a little bit further. If you want to do a coloured drip, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Okay. You can see it coming down, so nothing too drastic. Just a little drip there, you see? So it's still running a bit, but it's not running too far down. They can run down to the bottom of the cake, if you let them. I don't want it to cover all the pattern, mm. okay? I definitely don't want it to do that, but I do want it to be part of this cake design. Now, when you've got your join, that's when you can use the drip to kind of cover that up a bit. So just take your time, we're halfway. <laughs> it's true. I'm reading what someone's yeah, going to say. Yeah, <laughs> Tony has put, I love how chilled you are. Yes. I thought, honestly, she's like an she is an elegant swan. An elegant swan, apparently. Yeah. yeah you are. Uh, I'm going to look at the next one I see and go, "That's me over there." <laughs> um, I'm chilled because I can't control it, can I? It is what it is. If it turns out how it turns out, that's what it's going to do. So there we go. It seems to be doing okay yeah, at the moment. You can see some of them have run down a bit further. Some of them haven't. I don't really want them running too far. So I'm quite happy with where they are at the moment. So if anyone's nervous about doing a drip, number one is do it with royal icing. So get yourself some whipping it up, make it up into royal icing, and then break it down with some water. And then just test it on the back of the bowl like I did. Dye it up any color you want it to be. And it will dry, you see, so it will dry. So the whole time I'm still doing this, once I've finished, it will still continue to run for a bit, I would imagine. But well, that's all right. So for anyone who wants to have a go at drips, they don't all have to be chocolate drips, you know. They can just be royal iced ones. Right, I'm going to stop there. So that's it completed for the drip. I'm going to just fill in some bits on the top just to join it up but to be perfectly honest this is all going to get covered in a minute so I'm not really that worried about it but just tidy it up a little bit because I can. There we go. All right that's Brilliant. where we are at the moment. So we'll give that a minute to settle while it's doing what it's doing. So while that's sorting that out we're going to get our piping bag ready. I'm going to get rid of actually this bowl and I'm not sure if I need that yet, so I'll hold on to those. Are you taking them from me? Oh, you are good. Thank you. And then we're going to load up another piping bag. I'm going to wash my hands because it's getting messy now. Absolutely covered in it. Okay. Now, royal icing. Here we go again. 
like it. Very summery. Very summery. Yeah, Linda's right. I've done quite a lot of kind of um, ice cream themes. I think they know I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> I can't be obsessed with it. Well, I'm trying to be good today and that blaming ice cream van came around and ruined my day. <laughs> I had to have one. I know. So this is standard royal icing. Okay, so this is... Um, it's not had any extra water added to it or anything. It's just ordinary royal icing. I'm glad I left that one there because we might need that. Could work out how much we needed tonight. Right, I'll do for the minute. Okay. <laughs> What's that? You know, like Wayne's put. I've been called a drip <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> Let's move that out of the way. A pink drip. A pink drip. Right, so we have got Wilton 18 in here. I've obviously had it in here earlier because it's it's got stuck. There we go. Right, we're going to decorate the sides and the top. So all I'm going to do, hopefully you can see, is I'm going to just take this nozzle and I'm going to do a little rosette on the bottom like that. Now we're going to actually come back and do some sprinkles in here. Oops, of course it's going to do that. There's air in there. Let's have that out. It's going to annoy me otherwise. See how I noticed I just reached for my tool caddy there. Yeah. My Dresden tool was there. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> I'm impressed. I know. So, we're going to just do little rosettes. Or we're going to do fairly big rosettes like that. So, this is Wilton 18. Is it on there? Yeah. So you could pipe this with buttercream if you want, but royal icing, if you've done a royal ice drip, you might as well keep going with it. There we go. I'm still on camera, yeah, good. still liking and sharing I should check really I don't know whether they do that anymore or well, she used to have to say we're liking and sharing so I'm not too sure someone will tell me in a minute I'm sure about that so around we go put some coloured balls on there as well. We're going to go the full hog. So that's why you don't want too much drip so you mm. can still see what's going on otherwise it's just going to be too much it's all going to be overkill. Some of these which are little chocolate balls they are called purple cupcakes chocolate sorbet balls or something so they're lovely pastel colors so I was just going to literally just put in every other one one of these which should pick up then one of the colors that's in there which I don't that one isn't a strong color let's have one that's a strong color that's a better one. there we go like a little sweetie cake so I'm just going to pop those large ones in. It's a green one. A yellow one. Purple cupcakes, chocolate sorbet bubbles. Yep, bubbles. Yay. So they do mix sizes. I'm just picking out the big ones to be honest, because I want the big ones in here. So and cute. There. Another one there. So it doesn't take very long to do. Happy with that so yeah. far. And the yellow one. And the purple one. Can't do a pink one, there's a pink one coming. There we go. Oh, that was lucky. Every other one was a. I've got them in every other one. It worked out exactly. That yeah. Never, yeah, that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it 
<laughs> no, no, it doesn't, I can assure you. Right, so, so the pink drip is still settling. You can see it won't set completely until the following day. So it is going to take a little bit of time for it to set. or well, not the following day, but certainly later on tonight, which is why I'm a little bit sort of concerned about the top. Now, I'm just going to move my mm. camera. Now, while I normally move my camera, I come on camera and I do it myself because otherwise you end up feeling sick with me moving it up and down. You want to see what's going on on the top now, you see. So I'm going to move it. I'm nearly at the top there. Come on, is that it? You can see my mess again. <laughs> well, I can anyway, so I'll move things around. There we go, that's nice, that's better. So we can now see that, there we go. Right, now we're gonna do the top. So, we're gonna to continue to use Wilton 18. Now, we can either kind of do um, a line like this. Now, what we have to watch out with is the pink drip on here. So, I'm going to take my um, nozzle and I'm literally just going to turn it like a rope okay without breathing obviously no breathing allowed breathe. get to that point you need to turn it okay and then I can pick it up and carry on just imagine you're going round and round in a circle Again, turn it again. So Wilton 18 is this nozzle. And again. talk about the ice cream course didn't I? I've got about that. I must do that at the end before I forget. I've got to mention the new class. <laughs> right, just putting some more royal icing in in my bag. Is there any more in that container over there? I'm getting to the end of this. Let's see what it's like. Oh yeah that's fine. Yeah just leave it there. Give it a little whisk. That's okay. That's one. Right, put a bit more in there. What I don't want it to do now is an air bubble because that will annoy me. So let me just get rid of that. There you go. Otherwise, that will be spitting the rope back at me. Now, I'm going to continue. I get a round of applause when I get to the end. Yeah, you can breathe. I can breathe then. You're holding your breath underwater. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Da, 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 da. Right, well, where do I do with those sprinkles? There they are. Okay, let's move that over there. I'm going to put this under the other camera so you can have a look and see what's going on. There you go, how about that? So what I'm going to do now to match the little lollies, is I'm just going to put some of the sprinkles. Now I need to do this while it's still wet. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm getting rounds. I'm getting clapping hands now. You are. Good. <laughs> and an oxygen mask. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a 1M nozzle. It's a nozzle Wilton 18. Okay. Just put, put it on. So I'm being quite careful with these because I don't want them sort of spreading all over the cake and attaching themselves in other places. Thank you very much. Practice makes perfect. It's a rope. Just be careful. Take your time. And then any little bits that you've got, you can literally just get a brush and just push them into the outside edge. 
so you can just kind of hide them under there. I don't normally try and pick them out, I just push them, push them out of the way. Get them to cooperate. There we go, although we're going to pipe over those now anyway. Right, before we continue with this, I'm going to put this on here for a second. I'm just going to give that a minute or two to dry. Um, I'm just going to let that dry for a second because I'm still trying to claim time for my cookies to dry so that everything fits and nothing falls apart. Um, I'm just going to show you my new cake class before I finish this because as I say I'm waiting for time now on this. So I have got a brand new cake class, there it is, if you can see it on there. I'm going to bring it in here. Now this is going to come out, Ooh, it's all ice cream isn't it, it's ice cream everything. This is going to come out on the 6th of, uh, 5th of August. It's going to be an online class and it is available to book now. Now if you want to book this you have to go to my other website which I'm going to put up now. There you go, it's Tracy Mann Cake School. It is an online class and it's going to take you um, through literally the stages of putting this all together. It's going to teach you how to make pastelage. Now pastelage is an, a severely underrated sugar paste or a paste that you can make that does all sorts of clever things. It's going to teach you how to make fake ice cream that looks like ice cream all the time. Um, chocolate tempering and transfer sheets, covering a cake, using a mould to make your spoon and then also to do your um, royal ice piping just like what I've done there, very similar on the bowl as well. So this is now on my website which is tracymancakeschool.co.uk so if you pop over there and have a look you'll see that the class is currently on offer, it's £20 at the moment and it, all the course material is coming out on the 5th of August and you will be able to book it and you'll be able to hold on to the class material as well so you can go back to it but I think the point being with it is that it is one of these classes that you will be able to um, use the skills that you've learned in this class on other classes as well so it's one of these ones you make it, it looks lovely and then you'll go oh I remember how to do that and you can use it across other novelty cake classes as well. It's even got its own little doily at the bottom. I know it's flashy. Love, love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> five star isn't it? Anyway so that's now available um, I thought I'd just literally show that to you I'll pop it there it's going to sit behind me for a while Brilliant. So if you want to join that one, that one is there. I have done it so many times, this, this um, particular cake and class. I've done a Christmas version, I've done different coloured versions, and because you can use different transfer sheets and things, you can actually kind of change it. The offer is on at the moment till the 5th of August, and then once the um, date passes, it will go back up again. Nikki's put a link on for, thank you so much. <laughs> um, but it's a lovely class to do, and it's, say, it's not live, it's pre-recorded, so you can just kind of follow it in your own time. Right, let's go back to this other cake. So I need to just see what I can do with this icing here. So I've got some more icing. Hold on, I'm just going to wash this paintbrush. Not paintbrush. Spatula. It's not exactly a paintbrush, is it? <laughs> I'm missing the block. Elegant swan. We're nearly there, I know. We're nearly there. Right. Oh, now we've got a low battery on there. I knew that was going to happen. All right. Let's plug this in. This is where it gets technical. Alright, hold on. That's why it will just come across me. Right, we're just plugging in another camera so we don't lose our camera. Is it there? Yeah. Which camera are we on at the minute? Oh, that one, that's okay. Close, it should be fine. Right, I've now got a wire running across the front of me. It's so much fun here. <laughs> okay, right. Um, anyone who has booked it, by the way, I haven't um, sent you any links yet. So if anyone has booked the ice cream class, uh, no links have been sent yet because nothing's set up yet. Um, the actual sort of, um, all the filming's done. It's all finished, obviously, because there's the cake. Um, and I'm piecing it all together now, so you will get your links. I haven't forgotten about you, so don't think that I've forgotten. <laughs> I haven't forgotten. There we go. Right. So back to royal icing. Yes, I saw some of them just fell into the basket. <laughs> so this is royal icing again. I've just got brought this one back to life a little bit. You can leave royal icing at room temperature for a long period of time. And it's fine, and we're going to put our decorations on now. So we're still going to use Wilton 18. That's the plan anyway. If it doesn't work, I'm going to change the nozzle. It's as simple as that. 
most of it in. There we go. Alright, that one. I'm sort of juggling a little bit with the camera here because I've got a wire now running across me, so I'm sort of. <laughs> what am I seeing at arm's length? I'm going to leave that there because I might need it, I think. Right. Let's see where we are. Bring this forward a little bit. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take hold of this icing and we're literally just going to swirl it like a Mr Whippy, like so. No, I want, I want my 1M. That's not what I want. Do you want to pass me... Oh, no. No, it's not in my tool caddy. <laughs> it's out of your tool it's caddy. It's out of my tool caddy. Now I'll have to change that. They don't like that. Right. Not that I'm fussy. Oh, I've got a bigger nozzle here. Let's use better. <laughs> Let's use that one. That's quicker. So I'm going to unscrew that. We're going to use Wilton 21. There we go. Let's try that. Ooh, there. Much better. Much better. So we're going to use Wilton 21. And we're just going to literally just put a few like this. Now, if I spread these out right, I think so. I'm doing a count in my head. You've been eating too much Mr Whippy ice cream. I've been eating too much Mr Whippy ice yeah. cream, I know. It's finally got to me. <laughs> okay. And now, we're going to see if this works. Hopefully it should work. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, I feel like I've run a marathon. Okay, so we're now going to stand these against those. Now, where it might be slightly more tricky is these lollipop ones. I'll tell you why, because they're still wet, which is not helping matters either. I'm just going to put a bit more icing in there to prop that one up. And you've got some icing on your face. There we go. They're not strong enough to stand up, are they? No. You need to put... Yeah. Um, but actually, I think That's they look nice. better laying no, down. No, I agree, yeah. Nice. So cute. Well, I think so, anyway. Okay, I'm just putting a bit more icing on the back of this one because they need a bit more to kind of prop up there. Let's move it back a bit. And then, I don't really want you sat on that. So, um, what am I missing now? What colour would you like? Pink? Yeah. And then one more lolly. So I've done way too many lollies, so I'm obviously getting carried away myself then. That's okay. So, if you want to prop these up, which you could, you can turn them like so. In fact, no, we'll keep those laying down. There we go. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Stick them in by their sticks. They're going to snap if I do that. Although, what I could do, actually I've had a little thought, I could, if I press that down, do I want them standing or laying? What do you think? Um, I like both. You would say yeah, that. Yeah, I do. I, yeah. Um, <laughs> we need a boat, people. Standing or oh. laying? Right, let's see what they come up with. Standing or laying? I do like both. I like them at angles. I like them like that. I'm going angles like that. I'm going to repipe that top bit in a second. I'm going angles slightly standing. So I'm taking the, de the side deciding vote here, like that. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. So I. We're yeah. standing people. Standing, but uh, standing and angles. with angles. Yeah. So they're not symmetrical. Standing, 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 yeah. standing. Everybody's saying <laughs> standing. <laughs> yeah, but we're standing at an angle. Angle, yeah. And you could probably use more lollies, can't you? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, no, there is some spare ones. You're okay. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> Yeah, standing. Standing, but at angles. Yeah. 
so not they're not straight. straight. Yeah. So we're going to fiddle with this for a second. So we're going to need to put some. What I'm going to do is I'm going to repipe behind it. Okay. Oh. No, we've got a casualty, but that's okay actually because what we can do. Well, we can just either we can just add more royal icing and keep him stuck in that way. So we'll put that in there, and then we'll just pop ah, that I in see. like that. You see? Yeah. There we go. Brilliant. How about that? Is that Love better? it. Love it. Now I think this is going to need sort of 24 hours to sit. Yeah. Before we can do anything else with it. There we go. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> Standing and angled, right, I'm just going to get inside of there because this one here has definitely got its own agenda here, hasn't it? Of course there is, there's always one. Are you at the front or the back? He's at the back. Are you about to be relegated? Whoops. Right, let's have one that's going to behave, there you go. Right, now what I'm going to do is get in behind this and I'm just literally going to do some swirls just to make sure everything stays propped up. So the moral of this story is that I do think about these cakes, but I don't have chance to practice them, you see, so it's all live. Yeah, but it's good. <laughs> and we change our minds as we go as to what we're going to do with everything. So I'm literally just piping a little sort of swirl in the middle. Donna has said, will the stick not get soggy and fall? Probably. No, it won't because, the, it won't because the, royal the royal icing, icing will support will it. Set. Yeah, the royal icing will set. You're literally putting that, so you're surrounding them, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just going to fill in all the gaps now. Yeah, so the royal icing will set and you won't have any problems with it falling. More balls? Yeah, I'm going to put some more sprinkles on. More balls? And more more sprinkles. sprinkles, yeah. <laughs> Morella's off on one now. Yeah. Just get some more in there, girl. <laughs> Right, so what you could do to match the top, if you can see on camera, probably not. Let me move it on to the other one so you can see the side. Or the top, rather. Let's bring that back over. It's just to, there you go, you can see what I've done on the top now. But you could just take some more of these balls to kind of match, and you could just pop those down the side there. So then everything matches, otherwise you get you know, why are those balls there? They're there because they're also from the top as well and it makes a bit more sense. So cute. Yeah, you're happy with that? Love it. Love it. Okay. One more. There we go. So I think when I take photos of this cake, so I'm going to have to take lots of different angles, aren't I? Otherwise you're not going to be able to see what's going on. So there we go. That's the top bit. So I've covered that all up. Right, let me get you a decent angle. Hold on a minute. Right, I'm gonna come back on screen, just two seconds. I'll just fiddle with this camera for a minute. See if we can go up a bit awesome. higher. There we go, that's better. And you can see my tool caddy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> right, cake is coming everybody. Right, there we go. Okay, let's give you a little spin. I'm not gonna spin it too fast because in case anything starts keeling over. So all standing all popped up by royal icing so we'll need a little bit of time that's where we went a bit wrong but it doesn't matter because we've covered it up let's make that like that well, i'm getting fussy or anything because i am really fussy there we go brilliant how about that really good cool done okay and look the drip has stopped running now mm. So you don't need to worry about the drip continuing. So anybody who's been doing drip cakes and worried about them, just try it with royal icing because honestly it will, will be a lot easier for you. Okay? They're all happy with it now. It's different, isn't it? Something a bit different. Well, I think it is anyway. I don't even think that's a cake actually. It looks more like a sort of ornament, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It wasn't the giveaway mm. icing. Right, am I covered in it? <laughs> I feel like I'm covered in icing. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to put the other camera back on. I'm leaning over the wire. Right, I'm just going to unplug this now so it's not in my way. Right, let me pick this up for a second so you can have a quick look again. Where's the back? Where's the back of this Towards thing? you. Towards me. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. Every cake is back and a front, everybody. Right, there it is. Okay. So we called this one fun food. 
fun food cake. So lots of little cookies, royal icing, sheets, drips, sprinkles, baubles, you name it, it's all on there. <laughs> <laughs> We've thrown everything at it tonight. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> right, okay. Thank you very much for joining me this evening for an evening of um, novelty cake. Um, me changing my mind as we go through, but that's fine, that's allowed. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and don't forget, I won't be back on Thursday this week, so I'm not doing Thursdays at half past 11 at the moment because it's wedding season and I'm trying to deal with that. But I will be back next Tuesday at half past six. Um, um, so if you would like to join me then, I will be more than happy to see you. But take care. If you have any questions with regards to the cake, then you can get in touch with me via my website, which is traceskates.co.uk. Thank you, Morella. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I've really enjoyed myself. <laughs> She's thank, having fun. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for uh, us keeping you entertained all the other way around, whichever way you'd like to look at it. <laughs> it just depends what we're saying. But anyway, there we go. Um, we will see you all next week at half past six. Thank you very much for joining us. Take care, have a lovely evening, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.